This quick and easy succulent roast chicken is the best comfort food. Hi, you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. Perfect for everyday or special occasions, this roast chicken is loved by one and all. So let's get started. We're going to start by flavoring the butter. We're going to use this butter to coat the chicken. I'm using half a cup of room temperature unsalted butter. To the butter, I'm going to be adding three stalks of rosemary and I'm going to chop it up really fine. You can use any herb that you like. You can use basil, you can use cilantro, parsley, anything that you have on hand would work just fine. And we're going to add this to the butter. To that, we're going to add three crushed garlic cloves. I'm going to use a garlic press to add it to the butter because it's super easy. But you can even chop it very fine with a knife and add it to the butter. For that refreshing citrus flavor, we're going to add the zest of one lemon. You only want to get the top layer out of the skin of the lemon, so don't put too much pressure because the white coating over here, that's really bitter. I think that should be enough. For a little earthy flavoring, I'm just adding half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Let's give this butter a good mix so that we incorporate all the flavors well. This is what is going to give our chicken that incredible flavor. Let's prepare the pan in which we're going to roast the chicken. I've just lined the pan for easy cleanup. I'm using one big onion and I'm going to cut it up into cubes. If you have medium sized onions, you can use two. I'm separating the onion and I'm going to layer the bottom of the pan with the onion. The same lemon that we zested, we're going to cut it up into slices. And I'm going to place this on top of the onions. The onions and the lemon are going to give some nice flavoring to the chicken while it roasts. And it also will prevent the chicken from touching the pan directly. That will help to keep the meat nice and tender and succulent. Now let's give all our attention to the star of the show. I'm using a one and a half kilogram or approximately about three pounds bird. And I have washed it, I have dried it, but I'm going to pack dry it again. Drying the skin out will help the skin to crisp up and also the butter will adhere to the skin better. A very important tip to remember is to keep the chicken out of the refrigerator at least for half an hour to an hour before you cook it because you want it to come to room temperature. Putting a cold chicken into a hot oven will only make the meat tough. We want a nice, tender, succulent bird. Let's trim off this extra fat that's over here and even the skin. Let's fat cock this chicken to roast it. I'm using a pair of kitchen shears to do this. It's easiest done with shears, but you could even do it with a knife. So we're just going to cut down the backbone of the chicken on both sides. Now we're not going to throw this away, but we're going to keep it in the freezer and use it whenever we want to prepare a nice hearty stock. Normally you would cut it on the breastbone and then turn it over and flatten it down But I want that nice rounded look so I'm not cutting the breastbone And we're first going to lay the bird This way because we want to season this side then we'll flip it over and season the other side We're going to season the side well with salt And a generous helping of black pepper We we'll season it really well I'm going to flip the bird over and we're going to tuck these wings underneath so that they don't burn in the oven and now we're going to loosen the skin because we're going to put some of the butter underneath so that all the flavor goes right into the flesh of the chicken and we're going to do the same thing on the thighs now we're going to use the butter which we had flavored earlier and we're going to put some underneath the skin and we're going to put some underneath the thighs too. And now using our fingers, we're just going to take the butter and move it around underneath the skin and make sure we get it nicely covering all the flesh. 
this is going to flavor the chicken really well. Now we're going to season the top of the chicken with some salt and pepper. It's going to give it that nice, earthy, spicy flavor. And now we're going to coat the top of the chicken with some more of that flavored butter. This might initially be a bit messy, but just keep going at it. It will eventually stick to the skin. Now let's pop this delicious baby into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for approximately 55 minutes. Or if you're using a thermometer, the internal temperature of the thickest portion should reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm placing the tray on the second last rack of the oven to prevent the skin from burning. About 20 minutes in, baste the chicken to keep it nice and juicy. Now that the chicken is ready, we're going to cover it with a foil and let it rest for at least 10 minutes before we plate it and enjoy it. To plate the chicken, I placed it on a platter and added some sauteed carrots and broccoli and also the onions and the lemons that we had placed on the bottom of the baking tray when baking the chicken. And as a side, I prepared some delicious Hasselback potatoes. Now look at that. And listen to that crispy skin. I'm so excited, now let's give this a try. Mm. This chicken, it's so tender and it's so packed with flavor and the skin, oh my gosh, it's so crispy and nice. I'm telling you, you've got to give this recipe a try. If you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, subscribe and if you hit on the bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I upload new videos. If you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me your comments below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok. The information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.